The University of Detroit Mercy presents another brand new episode of Ask the Professor, the radio show on which you match wits with the University of Detroit Mercy professors in an unrehearsed session of questions and answers. Today's program was recorded using Zoom video conferencing technology. The University Tower Chimes bring in another session of Ask the Professor, the show in which you match wits with the University of Detroit Mercy professors in an unrehearsed session of questions and answers. I'm your host, Matt Mayo, and let me introduce to you our panel for today. It's Professor Beth Oljar. Hey, Matt. Good to be here. What's going on, Beth? Always good to be back with the ATP peeps. Oh, yes. I was quite looking forward to this. Well, I'm still in the process of working out the tablet thing. Um, although you and Mara should both be pleased that your I mean, Russ Davidson recommended Jamboard 2. I already downloaded that onto the tablet. And you were right, Mara, about guest access being a way to do two, uh, connect to the same session yeah. from two different devices. Um, I did discover that if you have a touchscreen computer, you can write on the whiteboard and collaborate with your finger. Nice. <laughs> so that was, you know, and literally I have had to do that. So I may need to go to Russ to get a bit more updating on how to, to use the tablet because it's going to be a very long semester if I can't figure that out. Yeah. So I'm a little... But you will. Worried, but you will, ben. Yeah. You will. There are heavy drugs if all else fails, so it's all good. <laughs> There's always yeah. that, yes. I'm just There's saying. Always that. Um, <laughs> Professor Heather Hill, is everything cool? I, oh. I'm oh, so God. sorry. I'm talking to my birthday girl daughter. Can you hear me now? She yes. wanted to say you. hello. She wanted to say hello, and I can't figure out how to put her on speaker. Oh. And she's laughing at me. But anyway, <laughs> she, says, she says hello birthday, to everybody. Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hello, Olivia. <laughs> happy birthday. Everybody's happy saying birthday. happy birthday. Can you, did you hear that? <laughs> All right. She's, all right. Okay. We can hear her. <laughs> we can hear her just fine. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, I will call you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm mucking up the the you're doing actually. fine you're, you're doing fine tried. continue your conversation <laughs> um we'll move we'll move on to uh professor dan macho hi matt how are you what's shaking man happy friday uh not too much have you uh jumped on the wordle bandwagon yet <sighs> Talk oh to me, man. what it's it's fun it's, it's, it is it's, fun. It's a fun 10 minutes out of your day and it'll last a couple of weeks and then we'll move on to something else. What is it? It is a just a very simple word game and it's based off of the kind of mastermind uh, principle where you, you know a correct color and if it's in the right position, but it's a, it, basically you have to guess a five uh, letter word in six mm -hmm. tries. Oh. Uh, and it just, it's just, it's a nice diversion. For, from yeah, the day but it it's, so check it out i should be good at that and it's, and it's it's not there's no phone app so you have to go to the the uh the website it's very simple it's very clever you know what i think it's big strength is dan is the fact that you play that game and you just assume because i'm really bad at those word games like i would never make it on wheel of fortune and stuff like that but that counter is no joke. Like you can't play again for 24 hours. I mean, that's it. You play one game and you want to come back. You have to remember Ooh, to come back the next right. day. It's kind of cool. So check it out. So it's like trying to get into the Paylocity app, right? Where they lock your <laughs> account. When you're trying to look at your pay stub, they'll lock your account. If you can't remember your what your security questions were or your password. Oh, God. So true. So true. Uh, someone who doesn't worry too much about Paylocity anymore, Professor Stephen Manning. <laughs> Ouch. Jeez. I thought that that was a positive, Stephen. Yeah. Well, it, you're, you're, emphasize, you're emphasizing the fact that I'm now broke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought you had one of those Scrooge McDuck gold, gold coin filled swimming pools. Thanks for that reminder. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm going to go hardcore on this one, Stephen. The fact that you don't need to work with Paylocity is one of the greatest things that you're never going to have to understand. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I agree. And they, they, I think they, it's a new thing, but they just changed it 
the last time I was paid, they changed it or something. Yes. Stop changing things. All I can say is thank God for social security. And there you know, you as screwed up as the government is, and you know, you've seen the latest things on the IRS. There are 10 million people be from behind. Mm -hmm. from here. There's something like they have so few people and Congress refused to give them the money they need. Of course. To run efficiently. There's something like one person, I think the figure was one, one person on their, on their the 800 number, one person for 60,000 calls. Yep. <laughs> so if you have a question for the IRS about your taxes, you know, you're not, you're not oh going to get God. through. You're not going to get through. It's unbelievable. Wow. Um, Talk about but, job but security for that one person, though. But Social Security has been, uh, I mean, they send me stuff once you get in the system and, you know, you're up and running. And, of course, it changes every year, right? And they tell you exactly what your base is and what they're taking out and what you end up getting. And it's, it's actually quite, uh, quite efficient for a government agency. So Nice. Nice. Well, I'll tell you another, uh, th those of you who have not yet retired, I'll tell you another bright spot. Uh, TIAA CREF, when, uh, after I retired, I annuitized part of my TIAA CREF. And this year, I got an announcement in December that they were going to increase what I was getting every month by 5%. That's what? wonderful. Of, of the annuity that was already set. They increased oh. the payout for it. Nice. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I saw that announcement. Even but you have to go shovel their feet. walk every five days or no, something. Oh, they didn't. Oh. Well, they didn't require that yet, but it may be coming. <laughs> so, that are you? Is, oh, oh, I was just going to say we don't want to lose track of the fact that um, those are the dulcet tones of Professor James Balfour. Oh yes, Dubs. here I am. <laughs> and um, this is his TED talk about modern <laughs> economics. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> That's cool, though. I, I, I mean, I think that. Um, it's weird, right? There have been some some hits and then some misses with all this modern dollar signs. Uh, the misses are like, takes 45 minutes to go through the drive through at McDonald's because there's yeah. only one person working the entire store. But otherwise... Well, my local Burger King just closes suddenly for extended periods of time, the drive through and then Ma will reopen when you, you know, you have no idea. Right. Hey, Matt, have you seen the one in Berkeley? That hasn't opened in forever. It's true. True. The McDonald's, yeah, the one on nine, uh, the one on Woodward, just south of Nine Mile, yeah, it never seems to be open. The Wendy's is that's right next to it. Yeah. Wait, the McDonald's is on Woodward is that's open? Yeah, thirteen on Woodward. Oh, no, I 13. was talking about a different one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I've been going up there for breakfast for Marcy every now and then. That's also. Of course, I'm also like the third person in line, so I have no problems with it. So, yeah, I'm just I'm not going to comment anymore because it's probably my favorite, the favorite place for my kids to go. And I'm like, I'm not taking you ever, ever again. There's something about being locked into a double line of cars where there's no way out except for getting out of your car and running. And, uh, it's just uh, just brutal. And I still well, going in to going through the drive through, but you, you don't have that option. That's exactly places. right. Exactly. Well, if we hear anything about a man who has abandoned his vehicle <laughs> with his children in it, have him drive through, we'll be like, yep, I guess Matt just I, snapped. I think we know who. So he Take just the lost damn it. Onions off the quarter pounder. That's all I've got to say. Um, we are joined today by Professor Mara Livesey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. No issues with velocity. <laughs> Um, you know, no issues with Paylocity, although just to kind of wrap back in all the crap I had to deal with last year when I was a supervisor for students, but I, I wasn't actually in the system as a supervisor for an entire year, I have recently discovered that maybe some of my students were never paid oh. and they were paid from the wrong accounts. Oh, oh no. Oh. None of which I could have ever kept track of because I wasn't in the system. Unbelievable. Well, that'll be a problem for your chair. <laughs> and your dean. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, just, it's just like, apparently the mistakes happened in the Fisher building. Mm -hmm. Well, as so it's just a whole is often thing. the case. 
<laughs> Isn't there a sign out in front of Fisher that says mistakes don't happen in this building or something? I don't know. Mistakes haven't happened in three days. It has a countdown to the implosion date. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. Ooh, that it would is, be cool. I suggested to Pam that they ought to raffle off the right to do the plunger, you know, to yeah. 100%. implode the building. She thought that was a, a fine idea. Yep. I'll Jim, pay a lot. That way. Hey, Jim, I actually, I did a commercial when they imploded the old Dallas Stadium for that. They actually raffled it off. I think and that's some, a good idea. idea. Yeah. And some little kid won that, and he got the chance to blow up a football stadium. Hmm. And okay. those are the uh, semi-dulcet tones of Professor Dave Chow. Pleasure to be here, as always. So. The Chow Man. I yes. do something good every now and then. Aye, aye, aye. So. Uh, folks, this is a program where you can send us questions regarding anything. If you stump the panel, you win a prize. If you don't stump the panel, you win a prize. You can send us the questions in a number of ways, emailing us at atp at udmercy.edu. Find us on Facebook or Instagram, or listen on your favorite smart speaker by asking it to play Ask the Professor at University of Detroit Mercy. Um, I'd like to point out that our next set of questions is from longtime question sender, Kimberly Richards of Van Nuys, California. And uh, Kimberly cool. actually has something super cool at the bottom of her email, and I'm going to read it out loud because it is awesome. Important notice. The entire physical universe, including this email address, may one day collapse back into an infinitesimally small space. Should another universe subsequently reemerge, the existence of this email address in that universe cannot be guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Kind of surprising. Oh, It'd be surprising if it could be guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. It would definitely be more surprising if it did reemerge. This is too Doctor Strange multiverse ish to me. So, I mean, man. Big time. Yeah. Big time. Mm. I think you guys are going to fall in love with this. This is uh, across the board, tons of fun. Uh, Kimberly's saying, Ooh, I really like all these things that you all are doing with the, um, the second line of the famous book. And you had to guess what it was and stuff. So this is what she sent us. All of these songs were number one. Oh on boy. Billboard hot 100 in 1984. <laughs> Given the first two lines of the lyrics, can you name the song and artist? Oh, Jim, you're, I know you're going to be good in December. Not Bring me. it on. Christmas I'm lyrics. I'm ready. All right. Okay. I was, ooh, second year in college. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. 1984. I was in the fourth grade, but that's okay. <laughs> I think I was paper trained okay. by then. It's oh. better than me, Matt. I was minus six. You were just a thought. That's awesome. I feel really old now, but okay. I'm very sad. Okay. <laughs> I made it through the wilderness. Like a virgin, Madonna. There yep. we go. Yes. Second line is somehow. Somehow I made it through. Oh, sorry. I thought we were. Nope. You're doing fine. You're doing okay. fine. I've got both of the opening lines. So I figured I'd do the first one and then we'll do the second one if you need it. Well, okay. Do you have, does. Hold on. Does man also have to do the dance moves from I'm the video too? Any moves? Oh, I'm not singing anything. Maybe, maybe one or two. I'll sing. Maybe he can do two. the weird Al Yankovic, like a surgeon parody. Like a surgeon. <laughs> um, like a sturgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Number two. Dig, if you will, the picture. It's Prince. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Of you, and I engage, of you and I engaged in a kiss. Of you and I engaged in a kiss. Very good. Wow. Smell what of your body. Can you, my darling, can you picture this? Oh, what is this? Little Red Corvette. Blanket on the tile. Oh, yeah. yeah. Little Red Corvette, it? yes. Yes. Yeah. It's not Little Red Corvette. It's not Little Red Corvette. Oh. oh. Um, oh, it. Oh, no, Beth, I got I got to channel my electrifying mojo here right about now. Um, Beth, could you could you resume singing it? Yeah, <laughs> we're already at partial credit here, professors. Um, you know what that is? That's uh, it's from Purple cry. Rain. Oh, when doves oh. cry. That's doves cry. Oh, okay. doves cry. Yeah, just blanked on the title. I get up, and nothing gets me down. Sounds like the Jim Tubbs exercise routine, isn't it? Second line. No, I get down, and nothing gets me up. Uh, I get to. 
I like to roll with the punches. Getting close. You got it tough. I've seen the toughest all around is the second line. It's Van Halen. Yes, it is. Jump. 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 Wow. Yes. I actually good. loathe them, so I'm surprised that I actually got but you I love the orchestration of that song. Or the David Lee Roth leg it's kick. A great, that it's a great thing to test out speakers with. <laughs> oh, oh that's probably true. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. How about been working so hard? I'm punching my card. Oh, Footloose. Uh, Huey Lewis in the news. Kenny Loggins. No, it's Kenny, Kenny Loggins, Footloose. Footloose oh, Footloose. Oh, yep. That sounded like a Huey Lewis song. It did. They though. all it did. did. It? Yeah, they yeah. All some did. of us, some of us saw that in the theater, along with Flashdance. Yeah, I'm just mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. Jennifer right. Beals in in Boba Fett right about now. Oh, That's sorry. right. She is. Really? About... Don't say anything. I haven't seen it yet. No spoilers. <laughs> the Butler did it. Oh, but I have seen The Witcher season two, so we can chat about that all you want. Okay. All right. How about you? Must understand through the touch of your hand. What's love got to do with it? Tina, Tina Turner. Turner. Wow. Second line is yeah. makes my pulse react. Yes. Man, this is like watching Jim with like Christmas carols. One of the best videos ever. hundred percent. Yeah. Ever. She never did a bad video. I mean, those her, those stiletto heels and her legs are just you're like yeah. really the legs that never ended. Yeah. How can I just let you walk away? Second line. When all I want to do is so you, um, it's Phil Collins. Um, wow. It's the theme from um, Romancing the Stone. No, yeah. it's No Way oh, Out. No. It's the oh, movie oh. with Rachel Jeff Ward. Bridges and Rachel Ward. Um, it's not Take a Look at Me Now. Wow. This is incredible. It wow. is. Watch your work. It's amazing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Beth, go at it. The five of us will be over here playing my shot. Okay? Yeah. Against, against all odds. Against that's what it was called. Odds. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Jeez. Let's just or keep just, rolling here. Or okay, Stephen, go fish. Nerdy and dorky. Oh. Love it. First two lines. No New Year's Day to celebrate. Oh, you I too. just called to say I love you. Um, oh, Whitney I'm Houston? terrible at this. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Wonder. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I heard New Year's Day and thought, oh, must be you too, 1984. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> that was my first thought too, actually. Here's a, here's a giveaway. So let, let's let's let some of the folks who haven't Ooh. had a chance to chime in yet, but it's a pretty well known song. <laughs> if there's something strange in your neighborhood, Ghostbusters? Uh. Yeah, Ghostbusters. Ray, uh, Ray, Ray Parker, Ray Parker, Ray Parker Jr. Jr. Detroit's very own Ray Parker Jr. Mm-hmm. Just watched that not too long ago because it act, it never gets old. Wait a minute now. Now was it? Now, I'm trying to remember. Was this the Huey Lewis song that they it was? Didn't there was some lawsuit between them? Uh, there was some because they thought it was sampled, but it really wasn't. Yeah. Mm. There's a loving in your eyes all the way. If I listen to your lies, would you say? Oh, boy. We got this loose leaf look on our faces right about now. Um, I think it's because of my deadpan delivery. So there is a <laughs> reptile in the title of this song. Me- Mexican um, radio. Oh, is, it, is it Ario Speedwagon? Nope. No, no. Is it Mexican? Mexican radio, um, the, the goofy iguana song. Do nope. remember? Oh, okay. Wow, reptile. We're gonna have one that we miss here, huh? A reptile and a snake. How about if I say, Most "Boy mobile? George"? Karma chameleon. Oh, Karma chameleon. Oh, okay. Culture club. That explains why I didn't know it. Yep. <laughs> Actually, I was. Uh, there's only so many reptiles in songs I can think of. You put the boom boom into my heart oh. you send my soul sky high when your loving starts oh it's wham pick me up before you go go get me up before you go go i don't plan on going solo see matt you need to give a little you need to add a little like i'm trying to do it here you know, yes. a little, a little, a little shimmy go along with the words matt 
I'm, yeah. I'm impressed that but Beth's brain works different than definitely yeah, mine. I, I cannot just flat connect. Words, I don't. I don't recognize. I can't at make all. the connection it's, with the song, but the Beth words can. with the music is a dead giveaway. But the yes. no, 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 Matt. Just a little shoulder shimmy will help. I'm not doing that. Okay, here we go. I've been alone with you inside my mind, mm -hmm. and in my dreams, I've kissed your lips a thousand times. Um. Hello. By Hello. Lionel Richie. I'm not going to answer anymore. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, oh I'm telling you. Yeah, oh, no, 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 that's great. You should. That's great. No, I, no, just, that, I just I, remember this horrible video. Oh, I'm just pointing well, that out. Was, see, this is when MTV actually showed video. Yeah, it's true. It was yeah. in those first years when it was Mind actually you. really interesting to see what people would do with this medium, right? And you got really really wonderful and interesting like billy jean right uh -huh. michael right. my mom had a favorite video that Same was her thing. favorite video i'm not kidding you beth no. okay that was when i first started getting into the business i mean we we're you know we were shooting like multi-million dollar videos back then so yeah. now it's like you could you know these videos are getting shot for like pennies on the dollar now that's all there you is know, you a want display to do some duran duran and then the lyrics would just be impenetrable oh god <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, the bad side of MTV. Yes, there is a <laughs> fans like Duran Duran at the uh, Royal Oak Trader Joe's that has a cartoon Lionel Richie <laughs> pointing down the aisle, and it says, "Hello, is it tea you're looking yeah, for?" I hey. see that. Yeah, I <laughs> I love that thing. Let's keep going here. <laughs> this, this is. I mean, it's only two words as the opening line. Move yourself. You always live your life never thinking of the future. Oh, I can picture. I can hear I can it. Come, hear on, it. Come on, Dan. Help, help us along. Hum a few bars. What was the second line again? You always live your life never thinking of the future. And it's... Good one. Oh, jeez. I'm actually tempted to sing this. Is it yes? Oh, yeah. wait. It's Owner of a Lonely Heart, right? Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Very good. Good one. I just <laughs> sing it in my head and then I, yeah. Move your Mind you, you can at least attach a tune to it. The rest of us are looking at words. Yeah. How about shake it up is all that we know? Using Cars? the bodies up as we go. Oh, no. Hmm. Uh. So sing it, Matt. Shake it up is all that we know. Using the bodies up as we go. Wow, you sing really well. Yeah. I know. I was gonna say. Never it. heard Man. you sing before, so I know. that's that's really Jeez. cool. Man, so that so that's what the mile boy got. That, the there's no way you're gonna get it. There's no. But way. you took choir a lot from when you were at you. Okay. Those were the days. Yeah. Joe you and Enzo and um, Emmett got the lullabies. That's Hall and Oates out of touch. You're oh. out of touch. I'm out of time. Yes. How Not about one of their better ones? Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick and think of you. Oh, Heart true color. Uh, no. Time after time. Yep. Confused. Cindy, Cindy, Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Good. Good. I like Cindy Lauper. Her best song. I really love that I one in particular. Cindy. Girls just want to have fun. Never really. Mm -hmm. Did it for me, but no. after, after time, time the best song I've beautiful. Besides, that video said Captain Lou Albano in it too, so <laughs> that was good. That's right. How about my baby? He don't talk sweet. He ain't got oh, much oh, to say. Oh, oh, um, um, let's Come hear from the boy. Yeah, um, but it's not. It's not Paul Abdul. It's uh. No, it's from Footloose. It's yeah. from the movie Footloose. Yeah. yeah. Petite little um, girl. Um, not Jody Watley. She's African-American, though. Initials yeah. D.W. Denise, Denise Williams. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh. If you don't like the world you're living in, take a look around. At least you got friends. This one I could oh not God. see. It's not Billy Joel, is it? Nope. Only human? Okay. Nope. Okay, Mari, well you, 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 you got any spades over there? 
I do. Let me go get them. <laughs> so um, uh, if I tell you it's Prince, does that help? Oh, okay. Uh, oh boy, let's yeah. go crazy. Let's, let's go, go crazy. crazy. Yeah, let's go. Thank We're you. Already there. <laughs> Prince We're <hit>. there. <laughs> So oh. now I'm looking in a decidedly Jim Tubbs direction when I say, you've gone too far this time, but I'm dancing on the Valentine. Jim Tubbs direction? Why are you looking in my direction? <laughs> because of a comment that you just made. Oh, which correctly... oh is it Zoran Durant? Yes, it's Zoran Durant. <laughs> <laughs> the big song. I mean, geez. The reflex. Oh. oh. Or the reflux. Oh, oh I'm mm-hmm. sorry. She dashed by me and painted on jeans and all heads turned because she was the dream. Is that she's a beauty? No. Um, the tubes? The tubes? No. 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 Little more, no offense, a little more mainstream. She dashed by me and painted on jeans and all heads turned because she was the dream extremely sexist language <laughs> what like what zz top legs or something like that uh, i mean you're in the wheelhouse when you say zz top but this was billy ocean's caribbean queen is what it was oh, okay just a couple more and then by the way a secret question to finish off this episode oh no awesome. secret. every Answer time oh. i think of you i always catch my breath and I'm still standing here, and you're oh. miles away. And I'm wondering why you left. John Waite? Missing you? John Waite. Yeah, yes, missing, missing you. Missing you. I could hear good. this. That's Jeez. the only one that I could actually hear the song. <laughs> from the word that you, <laughs> and the rest of us were seeing Matt's mouth move, and we're, ah. And trust me, I'm with you, man. I, I just, I mean, I'm not completely put together. But I cannot even watch Wheel of Fortune. My brain does not work that way. When the letters are missing, I've played your Wordle a few times. And I've got <laughs> five dead answers. And then it says, well, the answer is really obvious. It's this. And I'm like, I have no idea what's going the on. The thing like, about the wor- Wordle is you those. can, it's got, it puts the letters in front of you. And you can see you can see the available one. So it's, it's a much more logical approach to solving the puzzle than I think I, yeah. I would do with Wheel of Fortune. I don't always do well with wheel of fortune either that's right. because pat sajak so annoying well that's a different story <laughs> that is true Diverted by the gorgeous vanna white turning the letter oh vanna mm-hmm. pick me a letter <laughs> one more professors one more here it is i get up in the evening and i ain't got nothing to say oh, dancing in the dark me. yeah, yeah. Bruce. Mm-hmm. the one that now. i knew <laughs> Here we wow. go. It's a great song. There Dang was it. a secret question. A secret Uh-oh. question. All of these were actually number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for at least one week in 1984, except one, which never was a number one song, but was very, very long at number two. Which was it? Prince. Oh, one of, I was going to say one of the Prince songs. Probably. All yeah. I'm going to say is that my clue is It'll knock your socks off when you hear that this song was not a number one hit. Springsteen. It was Springsteen. It was Dancing in the Dark. What? Never broke through. Isn't that crazy? Who cares? Wow. I mean, like I got the only song, song that people know who aren't Bruce fans. Yeah. <laughs> hey, not to mention the, the was it the, uh, what's her face was on in the video too. Uh, yeah, was, yeah. Courtney, Courtney Cox. Cox. Yep. Yeah. Pulled yeah. her up on stage. And, oh, she must have been like, she was young, really young. Oh, oops, Seriously. can't be looking. I got into a lot of arguments about whether Born in the USA was a better album than Michael Jackson's Thriller. And of course, I was like, duh. And my Thriller was amazing. Don't get me wrong. But he's not Bruce. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. That is a true statement. <laughs> That's so no, I, uh, well, go, go on. to wrap up for today, our imponderable is um, I'm trying to find something that's aligned with where our brains might be after that episode. Our bathroom appliances I, now, right? I really oh. can't. <laughs> um, let's go down a completely different route that'll be way more entertaining with um, who is your favorite uh, movie director? Oh, wow. um, I'm just going with Spielberg too obvious. Out there. Where have you been my entire life? 
Christopher Nolan is one of my absolute okay. favorites. Um, I'd say, I guess, either Spielberg or Quentin Tarantino. Of course. Tar- Without thinking about this for a long time, I'd have to go with Spielberg or Wes Anderson. Wes Ooh, Anderson. Good Very good. You and my dad really like him, Dan. Kurosawa, Frank Capra. Of course. Okay. Capra. Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Billy Wilder, too. There's so many. Yeah. Yeah. Martin Scorsese. Oh, Oh my gosh. Stephen, what was that that you mentioned? I was thinking of Kurosawa when uh, when Dave Chow said that. Yeah. Also, John Ford. Yeah, John Ford. Ford Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Mara. Gobsmack us with your uh, with your take on this. I mean, my gut reaction was also Tarantino. Good. That's good. a good one, though. Yeah. You can't go wrong yeah. with that. Can't go wrong. Only a certain kind of director can take Brad Pitt stumbling around with a flamethrower and turn it into <laughs> the most <laughs> hilarious scene you've ever seen in your entire life. Oh, You're not gosh. thinking of if from Inglorious Bastards? Mm-mm. I'm and- talking about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes, I'm that actually it. was. I like that. I mean, some of his movies I have not particularly liked mm. but i did like that one a lot but brad was better and i mean mm-hmm. his character in inglorious bastards that's is amazing. incomparable that's yeah true. that's true <laughs> i'm just thankful nobody said joel schumacher that's also thank you Ooh. hey i liked lethal weapon i didn't have a problem with that yeah but then <laughs> they, they turned took a turn for the worse with batman too so it was um, just a few years ago, but I think it's a great button for our show today that I believe Professor Dave Chow for Joel Schumacher is the comic sans a movie director. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And there you have it. I'm afraid, professors, all our time is gone and the time has come to say goodbye, Dave. See ya. Mara. Bye. Jim. Bye. Steven. Bye. Dan. Goodbye. And Beth. Bye. And now these words from University of Detroit Mercy. Ask the Professor is transcribed in, you know, all of our homes, but usually it's in the Briggs Building in the Department of Communication Studies in the College of Liberal Arts and Education at University of Detroit Mercy's McNichols campus. Ask the Professor is produced and technically directed by Michael Jason and Brian Masonville, and our executive producer is Professor Jason Roach. Until next week, I'm your host, Matt Mayo.